Hello to all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily Culture, and welcome at the Royal Castle in Warsaw, where there is an exhibition, The World of Rembrandt. Here with us is Alicia Jakubowska, a curator, but also the author of this exhibition. Thank you very much for coming. Hello, thank you. Madam, in every single room of this exhibition is devoted to a different topic. There are even different colors which are the sign of changing the topic. There is a religion, there's travel, there's science. Tell us about the idea of this exhibition and how did you all prepare it? We wanted to provide wider context for two paintings by Rembrandt that are in collection of the Rekas in Warsaw, so um, cultural and historical context. To achieve that, I searched collections of Polish museums and some museums abroad. These objects that we present illustrate different phenomena of Dutch life at that time, uh, life in Dutch Republic in 17th century during the age of Rembrandt as the 17th century is sometimes being called. When someone enters this exhibition there is a little bit of shock. It's like okay not all of the paintings are Rembrandt. Uh, so um, there's this element that you're trying to portray people around Rembrandt who as I understand kind of influenced him or were around him in his time, but they are not, I would say, well known, even for people familiar with art. Well, yes, it's true. Rembrandt is present at the exhibition, so these are his paintings from the collection of the Red Castle and his engravings. So each room starts with an engraving by Rembrandt related to a particular topic. So we wanted him to be like a guide in his home country. What we intended to present um, was rather that context. I mean, what he could see, people he met, etc. Maybe what some of those paintings he even seen himself. It could be, it's, it's really possible because, um, well, uh, he lived in Amsterdam. It was a city which was full of artists. There were plenty of them. They knew each other. They cooperated very often. And it's very possible that some of the objects that are here were, were seen by Rembrandt. So when we enter the room with real Rembrandt, with those two amazing portraits, we see a paintings next to them, which very sim similar is, for example, the self-portrait of Rembrandt, but there is something wrong with them. So they are not real Rembrandt. We can, with a closer look, we can realize them. But at the first, there is kind of this false, we are fooled, um, that they are very, very similar and definitely in the style of Rembrandt. Who painted them? Well, actually, yes, um, there are Next to, to the real portraits, original portrait by Rembrandt, there are three paintings that may look like made by him, but actually are not. And Rembrandt was very popular at his times. He had uh, many students, I, as we could call them today, many pupils, and they uh, try to, um, well, to acquire the style of their master, he was popular, so his um, paintings were sought after by collectors, art collectors, and young people who learned how to paint. They also wanted to be popular. That's why they tried to follow their master in his manner uh, and in also in topics they uh, they illustrated so we have well three paintings actually one of them is a copy of Rembrandt's painting Polish noble and it's um, it's a painting by a Polish uh, Polish um, painter Buchholz who lived in 19th century, because fashion for Rembrandt's art never ended. What's interesting is the fact that 
and the painting was uh, created at the turn of the 20th century. So many years past. Yeah, actually, collectors always used to search for Rembrandt's originals, but they also wanted to have uh, some copies in their collections because they could be then um, well regarded in society that they that they appreciate art of Rembrandt. So. Uh, also, King Stanislaus Augustus had in his collection some copies of Rembrandt's paintings, but uh, it was um, enough even to have a copy of Rembrandt just to show uh, one's taste and, well, love for art. And when we are looking at other pictures here, some of them, they, they, there is a capture of a similarity, especially, for example, in light. So Rembrandt is dark with this, I would say, one element of light which is trying, showing the figure. Some of the paintings which are here have like elements, few of them, which r resembles Rembrandt, but not are not Rembrandt. Did you specially choose them, which I would say brings up or rings the bell in the head of a person watching the exhibition, but also a person who is seeing it is not, it's sure that it, it, it has something from the Rembrandt, but it's not Rembrandt. Well, indeed, uh, right behind me, uh, a painting by Jan Levens, uh, who cooperated closely with uh, Rembrandt. It's a um, depiction of a biblical scene from New Testament. This is um, Zachariah in the temple, and we clearly see that that painting was influenced by Rembrandt, maybe in, well, in the way that uh, the painter used uh, paint, how he, um, his, br his brushwork is similar to Rembrandt's, and the colors, and the light, but um, style, um, the shape of figure, of uh, different objects in painting are different, are his own. So there is a kind of mixture, so there's that, uh, well, distant influence of his friend, uh, friend artist, uh, and well, yes, so this is how Rembrandt's works uh, inspired very directly and sometimes only in style or in topic. Well, we invite all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily Culture, for a small play. Come to the Royal Castle in Warsaw and look for the sights of Rembrandt, maybe without reading the exhibitions and description under the pictures and guess yourself which is the true Rembrandt and which is not. And I do hope, of course, you will guess correctly. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.